Welcome to Violin Adventures number 162. We'll start off with a, another package that comes in the mail. Okay, we're using our new camera and I'm hoping that this is much better quality. It looks like it is in the screen. Now, we have another package here that needs to be opened. A new violin that needs repair. We're going to check it out, but we won't repair it for a couple weeks until we finish the other. We have a little audience back here that's waiting to see what's in this box, too. Ooh, I love a violin. Yes, it is a violin. It looks like a violin. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, a little note. Ooh. Let's open up the note. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Gold, that's one of my favorites. Okay, very nice. Beautiful little note here, and I love the colors. They are just gorgeous. Oh, very beautiful. Looks like maple accessories. Maybe I'll bring this up close so you can see. These beautiful pegs. There's a decorated fingerboard in there. The violin. Wow, that's so beautiful. It is beautiful. It's all decorated, isn't it? Nice. Uh -huh. I like it. Yes. Okay, so this is what we have to look forward to. Something exciting for in a few weeks from now. So I'm going to safely put all this away. Fingerboard. Fingerboard. So we'll put all this away and save it over there on the table. Thank you for this repair. I'm looking forward to fixing it. And now onward to the French violin. Okay, we're working on the French violin. So the first thing I do is check the tone. And there's too much buzzing going on. So we need to get cleats on this crack here and also this one over here all right we're back to work on the french violin i got the middle seam together and now i'm going to cleat up the cracks that are there that have been already repaired um, at this point there's not a lot of tone but, so there's potential there but it's not ringing out so i'm hoping with a little support on these cracks That'll give it a little more strength. All right, as soon as these dry, we're going to get the base bar out and get a new one in. Here with the French violin, we've got the cleats in, um, but right, it's getting, it's getting a little better. So there's still a little bit of a buzz and that is a crack right here but right now I want to take this base bar out and get ready to put a new one in down and then get ready to fit it. I think this will really help the tone. This is Tuesday morning. It's like a rainforest. Nice steady rain. Been raining almost all night. Okay, we're installing the base part. This is the hardest part of fitting a base bar is when you get all of it touching except one little section. And in order to make that one little section fit, you gotta take down everything that you've been working on. So this is where I'm at right now. We've been going at it for almost an hour. We're almost there.
Okay, it's time to get the bass bar into the French violin. We got some really nice fresh glue here. And I just tested it and it looks really good, feels good. We'll leave that to dry overnight. And tomorrow we hope to take it down, check the tone, and proceed from there. Okay, here we are on the French violin. It's time to take the clamps off. Okay, there's our pile of scraps from the base bar. So next, we're going to seal the inside here. Okay, everything looks good and beautiful. We're going to get ready, check this out, and make sure. Time to put in a repair label. Okay, we have our nice hot glue, a fresh batch of glue. First thing we're going to do is put in a repair label. And now we'll just close, show that up close. There's the inside of the back, and here's the inside of the top. Everything sounds good. I don't hear any buzzing. I'm going to double check. Oh, oh, oh. Before we close it up, I need to cleat this middle section right here. So we will stop and get some cleats in here. Okay, we'll let that dry for a couple hours and then we'll be back to close up the violin. Okay, we got the bottom here cleated and I've been studying the sound post patch area very carefully to see if these cracks that you see on the top, if they go all the way through. They did go through and somebody glued them up really nicely, but because those cracks are in this sound pulse area, we need to have a patch and just a small one just to give this that extra support that it needs in order to keep the power going. Because this area is so important. So I'm going to inlay a patch here before we close this up. All right, we got the sound post patch and we're gonna let that dry. And then we'll be back. All right, this is Thursday morning and I just had to bring you out here to see. It is very cold, very, very cold. And the next few days we might be getting in the 20s and 30s at nighttime. So winter's coming on. And here we are Thursday morning we're going to get this patch taken down so that we can close up this violin. And being Thursday morning, I am I love this holiday because it's such a holiday to be thankful, to remind us to be thankful, and I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for a shop here where I can really work. And I'm thankful for you who are sending in your repairs. I'll be thinking through the day more things that I'm thankful for. For now, I'm going to take down this little I'm also thankful for this new camera. It seems to be working really well. And the pictures are even sharper. Also, uh, 
the zoom is goes farther. <laughs> Our bird is back for the winter. Zoom in here. This camera really zooms in far. There he is. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, now we're ready to close up the violin. We've got our nice small sound post patch. Very thin, but just the right amount. We've got our cleats on for all the cracks we found. We had a crack running all this way and then a crack here. So. Everything is supported and a new base bar and now it's time to close it up Here we've got two new blocks upper and lower and that's because we found a big crack in this block that was patched and Then the top block wasn't down flat. So we replaced those and now we're ready to close it up so I weakened my glue just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and the next step will be to get the neck on at the right angle and then we can set it up. A glimpse at a rehair. So here we have our tarnished silver on this frog. Let's clean it up and see how beautiful it's going to look. There's one piece. And there it is, all beautiful again. Okay, here's our hair, and this is the newest hair. Okay, it's time to take the clamps off. All right, there it is. Now we're ready to set the neck. So I'm going to spend a couple hours probably setting this neck. So I'll see you as soon as it's all set. Okay, we got the neck ready to go in. So we've got our hot hide glue here. Okay, we're going to let this dry for 24 hours and see if we can get this set up tomorrow. So excited to hear how it's going to sound. Okay, we're on the home stretch on the French violin. Just drilled the hole for the end button. I'm working on a new set of pegs. We got, we also have a bridge cut and ready to go. Okay, it's time for the very first play. Got new pegs in, new bridge and sound post. Everything is set up. Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, 
Okay, that's the very first sounds. Now, I'm going to play it, let the new bridge and new bass bar and sound post patch, all of that. I'm going to let all the molecules line up and we'll hear it again in a few minutes but it sure is a happy violin. for sending in this repair and I'll finish it up and get it back. Okay, the tone is just soaring. It's so alive already. Here we are, a nice cool day, probably in the 50s here. Let's see what's going on. Here we are in the shop. All work has ceased. Let's take a look at what is going on. Over there is our cello, it's on hold. And here at this table, there's another cello being born. But actually there's an apprentice in the shop that's working on that instrument. Here's the French violin and it is all finished. We just need to do a polish and we also need to play it for a couple more days and then it will be off to its owner. Here's our Italian violin. It also has woken way up and it will be going home this next week. up. Haven't forgotten about our diamond in the rough. Maybe this next week we can get that set up. We'll see. Over here is a rehair all ready to go. Freddie has a surprise visit. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, I'm Freddie. I'm Freddie and I'm so excited because I have a friend that came to visit me and and she's right here. Where's my friend? Hi, Freddie. I'm Liliana. Oh, I, hi. I, 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 I'm so glad to see you. You're my friend. Uh, hi. Hi. I got this. I got a present for you. Wow. You you got a present for me? Yes. Wow. Can, can you put it on me? Yes. Wow. Wow. This is fantastic. Whoa! Whoa! Thank you! Can I give you a hug? Sure. Wow! Thank you so much! Bye! Bye! Thanks for coming! Bye! Wow! Now I'm going to be all warm! I got me! Oh, you know what? She made this scarf all by herself! And, and now I, I'm going to be warm! Wow! So the next couple of weeks, my dad and I are going to be just taking a break, getting some work done around here, and also visiting some places. If I don't post, Freddie will post. He'll have something to say. 
Well, we'll see you next week. The Hebrew Minute. Hashem Ori Vayishi Mimi Ira Hashem Maoz Chayai Mimi Echad. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for sending your instruments for repair. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye.